Intraoral scanning is the gateway to digital dentistry. With intraoral scanning, we capture the patient's dental characteristics through high-resolution 3D images. We get all the details of the patient's teeth, gums and occlusion with incredible precision. Patients are more than happy to avoid uncomfortable traditional impressions. Instead, they love to see the 3D image of their jaw appearing on the screen. Scanning is fast and fascinating, and eventually, high-quality scans are crucial for better treatment planning and amazingly accurate restorations. Let me show you how it's done. Let's get started with the intraoral scan. We have here the patient's name and the birth date and the patient's ID. I can confirm that. Now we can choose what we're going to scan. This is a going to be a full art scan for a splint. Okay, perfect. Now we can start scanning the upper jaw. I will take my scanner here and start on the palatal side. Very good. Very good, perfect. So I will also scan the palate itself. This is very important because later, if I need to match and superimpose different scans, the palate is very, very important to get an accurate superposition. And now when I have completed the palatal area or surface of the teeth, I can scan the occlusal part. Now you see here we have the occlusion. On the buccal area in the posterior molar region this is a, a bit more difficult. You can close now a little bit, move your jaw to the left please, open just a little bit more so that the scanner can enter. Now move to the left, very good. I will get more space for scanning, very good, very good. We we'll continue here the buccal part and the labial surface of the incisors. I will roll over the incisal edges to get a nice accurate scan here. Very good. Okay, we do this jaw movement to the right now. Here I move to the buckle. I have more space now. Okay, very good. This is very good. I continue my scan here and this is a beautiful scan we see that there is a little area missing on this molar let's scan that close a little bit close a little bit move your jaw a little bit more to the right i will now tilt my scanner okay let's see if it's scanned it's still something missing okay now close a little bit okay perfect now uh, move to the right, no, close a little bit, yeah, close a little bit, yes, very good, okay. So that's the maximum I can do, I think. I will roll over from the buckle, close a little bit more, yes, here we go. Okay, I think this is enough, that's very good. Now we have already a very nice upper jaw. I will now cut away the areas that I do not need. This will provide a smaller file size, so the whole processing will be quicker. Storing this data will be easier and is not consuming so much space on your server. Very good. And remember the palette, very important. Cool. Now the lower jaw. For the lower jaw, I will need a mirror to help getting enough space between the tongue and the cheek. Okay, this looks good. So there are different scan strategies. Of course, this first the palatal or the lingual side, then the occlusal can be also alter to your individual needs. Remember there are slight differences in results, but overall a good scanner will always 
create accurate scans. So, very good. You're completely relaxed. That is really great. Thank you very much. Cool. Okay, let's check our scan. All right, I have a little bit excess here on this side. I will cut that away just to see where I need to rescan it. Oh, this looks good. A little bit more. Okay. Okay, I will rescan this area quickly and open please thank you great that's all so here for example there is a little hole in this incisal edge I don't know if you can see that here I'll have to rescan that otherwise while well, the lab software can add it but it won't be really precise and you see it's so easy to rescan and now it's great. That is really good. Now let's get rid of the access areas as well. Okay. So that's it, that was the lower jaw. Now, there's still something missing, of course. We need to align both upper and lower jaws in the right occlusal position. And this is done by a buckle scan. You can close your, your mouth, find your occlusion, make tuck, 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 and keep this position, please. Thank you. I'll now activate the buckle scan, which is very easy. Just one scan on the left on the left side. I move it a bit upwards and, and downwards. And then on the right side. And that's it. And now the computer is calculating the models based on the scans. We'll calculate this whole um, three-dimensional object and their position in the natural occlusion. Let's give him a minute. What you can do, of course, uh, when you want to increase the vertical dimension of the occlusion, for example, in a bite lift or in a, for a splint or for just a new occlusal position, you can add something, put something between the teeth, like a deprogrammer or a jig or a wax plate, whatever you need, and then you can rescan the bite from the side with this object in between the jaws and then the prime scan will uh, uh, calculate the new position so that is a very very important and very helpful uh, feature all right we already have the calculated and calculated models for example here you see the red dots that are signaling a very strong occlusion we have the green and blue and yellow dots where there is a slightly lower or softer contact and uh, there is almost no occlusal contact in the anterior area. So that's it. Now we're good to go. You can export this scan in the lab software. You can send it to your external lab or you can send it to the printer or a printing service. Um, you can do many things with that. We will come to this in another video when we were talking about data uh, processing and printing, for example. You can export this uh, three-dimensional file as an STL file, which is three-dimensional without color, or as an PLY, which is also including color information. 
depending on what you need and what your lab needs, STL or PLY. So you can do the scan by your own, um, by yourself. Our assistants do that in about 10 minutes. They will really love to do that. They learned it very quickly. So I really encourage you to learn it for yourself and also to teach your staff. They will really love to perform these scans. Here we have it, a comprehensive intraoral scan, quick, easy and highly reproducible. Intraoral scanners are the forefront of digital workflow efficiency. They capture detailed data quickly and in high resolution. This makes it easy to create accurate 3D models for a variety of clinical applications. They empower us to work more efficiently and to make the collaborative process smoother and safer. Their data lay the groundwork for treatment planning and case presentations. And in the next step, you will learn how to add motion data to your digital avatar, opening doors to dynamic occlusal analysis and beyond. Stay tuned.